here we are back at the vise we got the master uh, we bled that using the little relief port until there was no more air bubbles coming out I was able to <laughs> tilt this slightly in the vise on the rubber so that I made sure that any air wanted to make it to that one and I actually tilted it a little bit both ways just to ensure because this is actually in the middle you can see the plunger though between the, the holes so it starts about in there and uh, a note about this end there's the rubber condom looking thing that goes inside and seals the cap you want to make sure you have plenty of fluid to fill that nearly to the top under that thing so you want to push it in and that is just a bladder so that uh, as it draws fluid that rubber expands and I believe just that liquid coupling rather than just air on the top uh, it's one way to provide a weatherproof bleed for reservoir exchange same thing is under that cap on your brake master you'll notice sometimes when it's low that it bloop, flops down in and uh, I spent a little time uh, double checking down here massaging this a little bit again and found a few more bubbles so we got those little guys out and continued to do that with a rag to catch it I made a little bit of a mess but that's okay and uh, I put this back in and snapped these back into their spots so for assembly and you want to do this before you fill the reservoir because that pushes a lot of fluid back up the line into there I had to add very little fluid after I was done bleeding uh, lube the threads on that and uh, we're pretty ready to go last note is this is a plastic cap with a rubber condom over there I use my palm like this as I tighten it down gently try and keep it even so that you don't egg that rubber washer underneath there alright now it's a reverse process to put it back in we'll take a look at that in a minute oh want to talk about the tools we've involved so far so we had our allen wrench it's a uh, 530 seconds big pair of channel locks which I used to uh, squeeze that little roll pin in I just very gently did it I had them one notch wider to start and just very gently squeeze the little retaining roll pin into place uh, my little tub here I decided to hang on to this so the brake master came with this piece of solid line which was for preventing loss of fluid in some process and uh, that fits into that piece of tubing so I use that to plug the end and uh, I made a little wire coat hanger hook just reaches down in pinches on the side I can still uh, close this up nice and snug I wouldn't trust it if it spilled over but it's keeping dust out and now I can keep that fluid nice and clean up on the shelf uh, so we did that uh, linemans to make the little metal clip on the, the thing we needed our drill and a drill bit of course you could do it with a reamer knife or whatever some cutters that there are 13 millimeter with a 16 inch extension DOT 3 fluid and all right, we're going to put it back together. Here we go.